Hi people, I am privileged yet again to meet with one of the best developers here in Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, you see a lot of the uh, government demolitions around yeah. housing and mm. projects. Yeah, so I, I've heard a lot about that. You know, people are concerned. You mm. know, we have a lot of clients. Even when you tell them, they will say, are you sure mm. I'm not going to be affected? It's okay. I, I, can't, I can't blame people for yeah. being fearful. But, you know, we have to also look at some things practically. I mean, how many houses have been developed in Lagos in the last five or ten years? Yeah. the brain behind the avatar and in today's video we are going to talk about a lot things like why he started real estate and why he decided to choose this location i've, I've been partially in construction for more than 10 years you know but, but we, we set up ragnarok property development Limited five years ago 2019. this promises to be an interesting video grab your drink and watch this video to the next Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good to see you. Same here. How's it going? I'm so glad that I met you at the site today. Yeah. Hope you're able to take a tour around and see what we have here. Yes, I have. Okay. And you've, you've done so much here. Thank I was you. here last year and I can't believe what I'm seeing now. Yeah, you thank really you. Thank you so much. But it didn't take you long. Yeah. What did you see here that you decided to settle for this location? Okay, so this is um, Shongu Tedu. Like, this is the new Lekki as it is. This is the new Aja. Okay. as it is as well you know we focus on developing areas you know areas that we can offer things that you ordinarily find in in prime areas you know we have uh, 24 hours electricity here okay and we have a kids playground we have a gym okay. you know and because this land when we chose this place is not far from the expressway it's just exactly. like one that. or two minutes mm -hmm. maximum from the expressway and it offers the serenity mm -hmm. that you want for your family Exactly. Right, so I believe it's a very good location, it's a very good title and um, a very good place to live and grow your family. Okay. I understand that you have other projects, oh, yeah. not just oh, yeah. the avatar. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You have other projects yeah. in yeah. another location. Yeah. Why should my audience invest in these projects? Okay, so this is the Alberton, right? Yeah. The Alberton is unique, special because it's a building project. We have other projects as well that are landed projects yeah. like uh, Westbury Homes, Oakley Court. We can talk more about that yeah. later. But as for the Alberton, the Alberton offers you various amenities. Yeah, you focus on building house yes, in housing. Yes, housing the units. They, 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 they comprise of two, three, and four bedroom terraces. Mm -hmm. Right. And what inspired this is the problems that are in the market. At the time mm -hmm. so we found that people what did people suffer from mm -hmm. at the time we ran a survey with new homeowners and tried to find out what were the issues yeah. at the time people didn't like the fact that their houses didn't have parking okay. so we first mm -hmm. ensured that we have you know two yeah. car park for each mm -hmm. unit people wanted uh, some kind of maids room or bq as you would call it mm -hmm. you know and we made sure that all the units even the two bedroom terraces we have yeah i saw that the bq is very deep yes spacious yes. Very right. deep. you find out that there small small amenities that can give good value yeah. things like cctv camera like dstv pre-cabling like we have uh, some speakers in your in your ceiling that you can connect your mobile phone to you can listen to the radio in your house and all of that you know these were things that you couldn't ordinarily get in areas like this yeah right and here you can get um, land at still reasonable price so if you buy anything here now you can be sure that over the next two three years the price will have doubled yeah. you know, and that will happen a couple of times it's still developing Every, yes correct yeah. correct it's activity and the growth every day every week every month every year yeah. you know? and then seeing that people are already living at the other side yeah. so it's really really a good thing because we've solved that issue in the real estate industry because yeah. you know a lot of people are put off because at the end of the day they don't get what they are being promised of yeah so it's a really good thing you've solved that yeah correct issue. thank you thank and you very much i must add to that that part of why we came into the business five years ago was because of that you know we found that a lot of people want houses a lot of people want to invest in property yeah. but they have the issue it's difficult to trust yeah. you know, you trust your money yeah. to you know how can you be sure that they deliver so in ragnarok property development limited we made sure over time that all our projects it's not just this project yeah. we have the west homes project if you go there as well you yeah. see that all the infrastructure even though that is a landed project you see that all the infrastructure we promised there we've delivered okay. right mm -hmm. there's a basketball court there there's wow. a kids playground there 
you know, and so on and so forth. So you see that we are doing the same thing with Oakley Court that we just launched. Even though it's just three months old, if you go there now, you see that the gatehouse is fully built, you know, and we started doing the road network on the inside. We're also offering various amenities there. We don't just build houses, you know, we build small cluster communities. Oh, so yeah. you won't see any of our projects where it's just one or two houses. You no, know? we want to create an environment that is serene as good for family and communal life. Yeah, that makes a lot yeah. of sense. Another thing is, you see a lot of the government demolitions around. Yeah. And how safe is this project? Yeah, so I, I've heard a lot about that. You know, people are concerned. You mm. have a lot of clients. Even when you tell them, they'll say, Are you sure mm. I'm not going to be affected? It's okay. At the I, end can't, of the I can't blame people for yeah. being fearful. But, you know, we have to also look at some things practically. I mean, how many houses have been developed in Lagos in the last five or ten years? Okay. You know? Yeah. How many houses and how many houses have had this issue of demolition? You know, so I liken it to, to not to take anything away from it. It's a big issue, yeah. but I liken it to a car accident. You know, mm -hmm. but then cars on the road. What we need to really consider is what ratio of cars on the road are involved in accident. car accidents, yeah. right? So in this case now, I can tell you that the demolition of building is peculiar to less than maybe 0.001 percent of the industry. But we can talk about that. You know, mm -hmm. it's a sad thing mm -hmm. generally. Nobody wants to see people put money mm -hmm. into structures and then at some yeah, point they, 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 they just come and just put it down. But is it limited to that? You know, developers need to do better. You know, it, I don't think there's anywhere in the world where it's appropriate for people to fill up maybe drainages or public, you know, utilities and then start building houses on it. So, so there's a delicate balance there. Everybody can do better in that regard. We shouldn't be having things like that. We shouldn't be having that. But I tell you that our own project. We don't have any such experience. Are you hearing we don't that? have any Everyone experience. We don't have any experience yeah. of such. So you know, safe. we do. There's no. All our projects are either governor's consent, C of O. You know, we do only clean valley titles. You know, it's better to do that yeah. than try to cut corners and then. So I think there's a lot of corner cutting going on. That's where some people also find themselves in that situation where they struggle with. Uh, demolition, the way, the, the demolition the issue. Hundred percent, hundred percent. How has your experience in real estate been? Okay, so uh, well, anybody doing uh, this business will tell you that it's not easy, you know. But then again, I don't think there's any business that is easy like that but you know I, I believe that eventually there's a sweet spot you know i mean like over time the money asked they, well i want to believe so <laughs> i want to believe so there's there, because there's always the the probability or, or, or ability to scale you know and any business that has that you know i believe will always offer you the returns regardless of how much you put in in terms of effort but i must tell you that it's tedious and it takes a lot of resilience it demands a lot of capital but you need to persevere altogether you know, my own experience, we've, uh, I've, I've been partial in construction for more than 10 years. You know, but, but we, we set up Ragnarok Property Development Limited five years ago, 2019. And uh, I'm the CEO, Managing Director. And um, we, at, from then, we've been full-time doing uh, property development. We have about four, we have four estates now, right? And um, we hope to continue to expand on that. You know, we are here for good, we are here for full time and you know now later we'll still be here. We're trying to carve a niche in the industry. We're particular about certain things. You know, our prices are always all inclusive. So we yeah, don't do hidden yeah. charges. So our mantra is what we quote is what you pay. You know, so we're I in terms Yes. So we, we Yes, correct. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we, we, we try to deliver as promised all the time. You know, we try to have a good rapport with our clients. We we are particular about customer service. Wow. You know, I understand that there's a new compound coming now and it's something special for early beds. Oh yeah. yeah. So we are extending this project to the next compound, you know, which is just behind. Okay. They were calling it Alberton Two. Right. There you have two beds, three beds. Uh, same as, well. as this. Yes, yeah. yes, more more or less, yeah. Same as this with the same amenities, you know, and um, this is a very good time to key into that because mm -hmm. we're running a discount of five million 
right? Wow. Five million on the three bed. That's huge. Right? The price is only only one hundred and five million, but now it's going for one hundred million for people that came between now and middle of next month. Okay. That's middle of October, right? Mm -hmm. So um, that's the Albert in two. Um, we have other projects as well. We have our latest baby, the Oakley Court. Mm -hmm. you know, the Oakley Court is in uh, Eleko, in a place called the Deraskin. Land is CFO, you know, site and service. We're selling the so land. So many developments going around that. Yes, yes. And and Oakley is like highly discounted right now. You know, other estates are, are selling at double of what we're selling. Only because that project is new. Mm -hmm. You know, not because it's of less value, but because it's new. It's new right. Yeah, so the best time to key in is now. Yeah. Now. Exactly. Right. The best time to key in is now. So we have our Westbury Homes project also in Lakwe, which is um, a landed estate, site and service. Uh, 300 square meters, 450 square meters, 600 square meters there as well. I, I will say this over and over again. I like yes. the fact that, you know, these projects, people are already living in this yes. estate. Yes, not without uh, challenges. You know, yeah, that's where I was going to, to, I was going to ask you what yeah. are the challenges you've been facing oh, as a developer? Uh, you know, the, the, if you ask anybody that is taking this business serious, they tell you that it's a business of problems. Mm. You know, and I, I, I say that from a good place, but, you know, it's a business of problems. You have to, in fact, if you go for a month without any anything coming up, so it's you know, not all about the money that they are no, no, making a lot you have of to, money. You have, to, you have to love solving problems for you to to do well in this space, I yeah. must say. Right? Because remember that this is Nigeria, right? It's not like there's a portfolio of skilled workers yeah. anywhere, yeah. right? It's hard to get skilled workers, it's hard to force people. To get up to the standard you want them to work at yeah right so to achieve that you're going to fight with a lot of contractors you're going to fight with a lot of illiterate semi-illiterate and literate alike mm -hmm. you know we try to maintain a certain standard and there's a rough patch in pushing through to ensure that people know that you will not accept anything less yeah right so there's that there's also the stress that comes with government agencies mm -hmm. you know you have mm -hmm. to you have 10 government agencies breathing down your neck at the same time you know that's a problem with government people doing their work you know you want to encourage them to do their work too yeah. but you have this duplicity of of that there's also the time that it takes in in doing some getting land titles and getting land registered and all of that those are the basic challenges then you now have the ones that is not planned for like this hyper kind of inflation mm. like imagine yes. how much mm. we're buying during the materials when we started this project and how much we're buying towards the end and at some point you have to pick when you experience something like that you have to pick between just sacrificing the profit on the project so that you can deliver the, the project, or, or or maybe the project fails altogether. You know, but we have a track record yeah, of delivery. Yeah, a lot of people have failed in yes. that aspect. Yes, so we have a track record of delivery, and and it's a difficult thing. You know, going back to ask clients for money, we try to not do it. You know, you know, and in in achieving that, most of the time you have to make a, a sacrifice with your with profit. Yeah. Sometimes maybe even more. Even more than profit, you might have to sacrifice to ensure that people don't believe they think, yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, all about making, making the money. money. No, no, no. You know? it's not that it, it, people that are really in the business, and when I say doing the business, people that are actually delivering mm -hmm. can relate to what I'm saying, yeah, right. And they'll tell you that, yes, you know, sometimes it's like that. You know, but the inflation that has occurred in the last two years is unprecedented. Nobody mm -hmm. can say that they would have guessed that this is how much this would be selling mm -hmm. for now. So, those are like serious challenges that face from time to time it makes it hard to plan or harder mm. it makes it harder to plan especially when you're still trying to deliver a certain amount of uh, value yeah right yeah. and your experience so far what's your ideal location mm, i get that question often i mean when we say ideal location uh, ideal location for what <laughs> you know but let me let me try and answer based on what i think you're asking okay so in terms of investment you know an ideal location would be somewhere that you know is incubating incubating would be somewhere that Potential. one the title is already good you know i wouldn't advise anybody to go and buy land that they're telling that they are processing something or processing this or that you know all those processing <laughs> you know those are you want land that the first owner of the land must have gotten it properly from the government right mm -hmm. so that 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 has to be there first right you want something that is not yet fully developed because in fully developed areas if you have a downturn or a slide or a depression they are first going to be impacted mm -hmm. so you want somewhere that is growing where you can see things that still need to be done 
right in the area so as more houses spring up you can be sure that the you're getting so the desired appreciation as more roads are being built in the area and so on you're getting there's more room yeah, to and then you profit get well, you can still get it as a. I, I don't. I don't know what market value is, but you, but, but you can get it at, at, a, at a good price. Yes, let's just say at a good price for value. Yes, because in developed areas, the price of all that development will already be baked into the price of the property. Yes, so there is no time you are not buying at a premium. Whether you then in turn make profit or not, but you would have bought at a huge premium as well, right? So. That's in terms of investment, but in terms of of um, living, right, yeah. right. In terms of living, you're going to live in the property. You would consider things that are just a few minutes off the expressway. You know, I wouldn't even recommend the expressway itself, but I would recommend one or two turnings off the expressway where you don't have to drive more than one or two minutes, right. So you are not directly on the expressway because you're not a commercial. If you're a commercial um, building, yes, maybe you want to be on the expressway. But the expressway will get busy over time. I don't know if you want to be there, but you want to be just off the expressway. You can still enjoy a high level of serenity, yeah. right? But at the same time, you're, you don't have to commute too long to okay. reach your house. You have to get to your house. So, um, and if you look at our estates, if you look at Alberton, now once you turn off the expressway, it's two turnings of the expressway. It takes you two minutes. You are here. If you look at our, our new site, the Oakley Court, the Oakley Court is one turning of the expressway. You know, the government contractor doing the road. Now, when they're done, it will take you, it will take you thirty seconds, right, of the expressway to get to get there, right. So those are the things that I would say is important for for location. I mean, your question was about the ideal location. It would also be nice if you take some time out, maybe today, to visit. Exactly, you know. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check out. Excellent, we well, appreciate that. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sarah, for your time today. I'll check out this other yes. project. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, have a nice day. Guys, I'm sure you've learned so much from this video. I've learned so much. It was so insightful. Now, we are currently running a 5 million naira discount on Averton Phase 2. It's still within this location, just behind this location. If you want to key into this project, all you need to do is to just call me. And we have other projects like the Oakley and the Westbury. In this estate, we are selling landed property. These properties are safe with the governor's consent. So you are safe from any government encumbrances. You don't need to be afraid of anything. Thank you for watching this video to this point. Please, if you are new in my channel, this is where I get to show you off-plan projects that you can buy way below the market price or you, you are looking for a luxury house, we can also give it to you. If you are looking for something like that in the market, subscribe to this channel so that whenever we post new videos, you will be notified. Till I see you again in my next video. Please ensure to like and comment in this video. Bye guys.